You guys want to say anything to the vlog? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, today we are on this episode. We are going to pick up a horse. Um, that I'm going to start training. It's a half pony. I believe half pony or full pony. I don't know. We got to see when we get there. But um, we're going to go ahead and load up the trailer. I got to unload the, my SA200 weld machine out of my truck. Unload all the tools. Get that unloaded. Load up the stock trailer. Go pick it up. And that's just what we're going to cover on this episode. I haven't gone back to the ranch back home. But a little update on that. My dad, uh, the cattle stayed around the house. They get fed. There's no, the grass is dying off. So uh, my dad feeds them um, alfalfa and grass mix in the evening and morning. So they hang around the house. Uh, they hang around the water hole. So they're not going nowhere. They're doing good. Um, we had a little mishap with uh, quarantine here, quarantine there. Uh, some of the family members were in contact with some other people. And so we had to kind of keep our distance for now. But uh, everything should be good now. Everybody test negative. Um, so we should be headed back to the ranch soon here. So uh, this is all I can give you guys footage for now. Bye. I'm going to use this area here to hold that horse I'm going to be working with. We'll put some water in there. Well, we'll let these sheep out. I usually let them out during the daytime. Let them run around for a while. Watch out there, boy. You're free. Okay, we got the alleyway set up. I just gotta use panels and hay twine for now. Well, halfway there. Now we just gotta drop it. It's old 1973 blackface. Good machine, guys. What is he? Is it a boy or a girl? He's a boy. Is it Gildan? He's so stuck probably. Oh yeah? How old is he? Probably 10. 10 years old, huh? Yeah. What is he? Half pony or what? Yeah. I never got the video, but this one here, this black heifer, and that black heifer right there. I bought those ones at um, Sale Barn. I was gonna keep them, but uh, these guys that I'm training the horse for over here, they wanted to buy them, so I sold them. See that they have the, oh, this right one came. Two little dark uh, black heifers. Nice ones though. Got F1 Hereford and Angus Cross right there. I was gonna keep them, but they wanted to buy them, so I sold it to them. Also built these chutes right here. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> I built these shoots right here. Pretty good. Are you gonna do one Yep, recording right now, bud. Sliders. This one opens. This one's another slider. Slider here. Pretty good then. It took a while to build, but it was all worth it. There's the angle. Two by six in here so they can replace it. They can replace it as breaking. All the way down. Two by 12 down here. Two inch. 
short square tubing, inch and a half. Got it on some rollers here. A flat car here. We're just gonna gauge uh, where this horse is at. I don't know how much groundwork's been put into it. Um, if any of that, or, you know, he's doing pretty well jumping out of the trailer here. He's really spooky. So I, have, I haven't thrown a horse around him yet. I'm just gonna move him around this pin, see where, where I can kind of get a rough gauge of where his train's been left off, if, or, if it even been started. So we'll get going now. When he spun away from me, when I wanted to switch direction, he turned his rear end toward me. I don't want that. And if he turns that rear end toward me, I'm going to kind of tap him on the butt here. But when I want him to switch directions, I want him to face toward me. I want both eyes, both sides of the brain, left and right. But it's kind of difficult because I don't got a round pin right now. Got little corners where he could tuck his head in there. And uh, we'll see how far we can get here. Alrighty, I don't have a training stick, but I have a, a broken fishing pole that I'm going to be using here. All it is is this an extension of my arm, that's all it is. And when I want him to change directions, I want him to scoot out of the way and change toward, uh, change directions. I want him to give me two eyes, come out of that direction change when he stops. I don't want him turning, trying to turn into me like this. And this is just an extension of my arm, so let's get it started. get his feet moving he likes to try to get his way with even his foot in your way so we're gonna we're gonna do something just a little exercise here we're gonna move him away his face away move his face away move his face away oh that's good come on this side face away face away there you go get that feet moving away from you mouth moving just getting an idea of what I want that's what we want this is what we want with the other horse we're just trying to get it to hear the basics okay go ahead and pull switch hands point there we go see that go other hand there you go go ahead and switch it get his head that way get in there get in there there you go. She's still learning. 
I'm trying to train my daughter as much as I'm trying to train this horse here. So, but I want her to get the hold of taking control. All right, guys, this is uh, the other horse I was talking about. His name's Nash. This one belongs to me. Um, I haven't touched him for like a week and a half, maybe. Um, but this is what I'm going to show you. He's a little more experienced with this uh, type of drill. Very basic stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, she's been with me for four years now and um, we did a lot of groundwork and you can see the difference between this here my daughter's horse which we had for a year and a half um, and the gray horse Smokey so little basic stuff like that guys all right guys that's it